All right, the Yamaha WR250R is once again back in the shop. Today we're going to put a new sprocket on it, which uh, has a different number of teeth. Uh, he's looked all that up and figured out what he's wanted. And a new chain, which is really the main purpose we're, we're here. The chain's kind of junked out. So we're going to try to get these bolts off the sprocket. Hopefully they'll work for the... For the new sprocket, it's got a countersunk deal, and uh, we'll uh, show you most of the process here in the video, probably not all of it. Uh, here we go. Alright, we had to uh, take the torch and uh, cut the chain off, because the factory chain didn't have a master link, and the factory bolts are uh, not going to work on this aftermarket sprocket so we went and got some stainless steel bolts from the hardware store metric that uh, we were able to use the the same nuts on uh, found some nice stainless washers to go along with it and uh, I'm gonna get that screwed on get the new chain on put it all back together and uh, hopefully that'll be the gear ratio that he's desiring Alright, so this is the axle nut, and what I've done is actually taken the lock part of it away um, from the factory. It's got these two little tabs on either side. You may or may not can see now because I've, I've kind of ground them back. Anyway, they come in contact with the thread, and that's what locks it. So this is what it looks like after you grind those off. And we're going to use some Loctite. And the reason why we ground that off is because it eats into the threads. And you end up having to buy an axle about every three four times you take the back wheel off. And uh, that can get costly. So that's my tip. Uh, we got the chain on it. Everything looked good. Master Link was a little, little loose. But we looked at my other bikes and they're the same. They've been running for a long time. There's the uh, stainless bolts we got from the hardware store. And if you see on the back side, you can see the uh, washer that we put on. It's got just the right amount of thread sticking out, I think. Those two are locking nuts, but don't mess with those because you want those locked. Uh, unless you're going to be changing the sprocket all the time. Keep grinding them off. But uh, fixing to put the nut on. And uh, a little bit loose, but uh, I tried to pry it apart <laughs> just to test it, and it didn't come apart. So, all right, here's the Loctite and the nut.